<laughs> All right, I'll get this intro right off the bat. Welcome back to Music Muse, rated five stars on Spotify by Ten Stars. Thank you so much, Ten Stars. Um, in today's episode, we're here with one of the coolest artists rising up in the rap scene, Perry Mason. What is up? What's good, man? It's great to be here, bro. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Of course, it's like we already did this before. Imagine, bro. Imagine that'd be crazy if I like didn't press record <laughs> and we're doing this like, back to back. No. Oh my gosh, guys! The first time was just too good. They couldn't let us have it. That's why. We can get we'll, we'll get a little more in depth this time for sure. Of course. We'll get more into the psyche. Mm -hmm. So to start us off today, what are you doing with your music and why? Well, first, bro, with my music, bro. I make music, bro. I make for for art, bro. I make music because I love it. I love the art of music. I just, since I've been a kid, bro, I always had like depression. You know, I, I obviously I speak on that and like, cause you, I said obviously, cause I know you hear my music. I had like depression and just for some reason, the thing I always leaned on as a crutch that always helped me with my like help heal my soul and made me feel like I had someone with me all, at all times was music. Put on my my headphones. A lot of my influences honestly came from back then on my music. Put that in my headphones, bro, and just run it, bro. From 10 years old to now, and to the day I die, I'll always have music from my side. And like, I started making it when I was around like 12, 13, playing around with it, freestyling Garage Band. And then, like, as time went on, 16, 17, started taking it serious, made music under a different name. And then 18, I changed my name. and. From then to now, I'm about to turn 20. I'm gonna be playing music for the rest of my life. And I love music more than anything. I love the art of it. I love rollouts. I love home with the music. I love integrating things into the albums. I love music videos. I love every single aspect of music, writing, layers. I love all that shit. Yeah, absolutely. And like, it's so incredible that you made it to where you are today. And um, just to address the name change quickly, um, obviously, you know, I have a question about that. So um is that what the lyrics uh in bugs are about oh uh, yeah bro when i was like i even changed my fucking name like that was like about it was like a, like talking about talking to myself but also talking to a girl it was a double entendre thing oh there's oh, yeah. a buggy there's a buggy here speaking of bugs there's Yo, a buggy speaking of bugs <laughs> that, you know, right? and um it was the double entendre like i even changed my fucking name like what more do you want from me because i really feel like i went i became fully true to myself once i changed my name i really do mm -hmm, absolutely so what does the phrase my elegant breaking point mean to you um uh, beyond it just being you know the title of your newest album um hmm. well honestly it's just like the premise of my album was that i was at the lowest point of my life and you know what i mean like everybody has maybe one to an infinity amount of times in your life when they really hit their lowest point like anybody could have a low point but they're, they're their rock bottom it could happen one time it could happen a couple times you never know and just i think that like there's an elegance in the breaking point because i feel like you'll never learn more about yourself than when you do when you're in your lowest point when you break when you're broken and you feel like you've lost all hope but i feel like when you really learn a lot about yourself because it's it's just the most introspective like view view to your soul because you see yourself in your lowest point and i found that beautiful because i was two steps away from it's a dark thing to talk about but two steps away from jumping off a fucking building and i didn't think thankfully and i um i made this album you know and it just means a lot to me that, that i think that, that the breaking point is elegant i think it's the most vulnerable and raw state a human could have is when they when they're They've hit their they've hit their their lowest point, and that's it's only up from there. And it's just it teaches you a lot about yourself. So I it was it's my elegant breaking point, not someone else's, you know. But I hope that someone can relate to it, and I wanted to share it with the world. And yeah, absolutely, I totally feel that, and it, that's just such an incredible premise for an album. And uh, you know, to speak of uh, like the breaking point, almost like you're right, like it is one of the most beautiful states a human can be in. Um, and because, you know, like you said, it's only up from there and, um, you know, you won't take any moment for granted from that point on. Right. So absolutely. Exactly. So speak a little about 222 Music and all the artists over there and why you decided to start the collective. Okay. Um, 222 Music is 
well, first and foremost, 222 was my great grandmother's apartment number, uh, my grandma Beth, and um, I have it tattooed on my yeah. arm. We got the meaning. <laughs> tattooed on, and, and um, I just kept seeing the number a lot, and me and me and Minimus Rage from Houston, M I N A M I S R A G E, Minimus Rage. My name is Rage. However, you want to pronounce, it. I pronounce it Minimus, but he says it's my name is whatever. But he's ama he's amazing. Me and him made the group. In 2018, 2019, I'm pretty sure. 2018, I think. I'm not 100 percent sure on that. But we made the group. I pr it was probably 2019. But we made the group and me, Rage, Asmo Kid from Toronto, SRT Sachi from Houston, Word to Capo, who's not dropping music right now, but he's still fantastic from New York. Um and Guapstar from New York as well, who's my fucking brother. Um, that's the group we made it a music. It's it's just it's just us. It's it's just family. Yeah, absolutely. That's incredible. Um, just all of uh, these artists together, you know, you're each other's support system and like. Exactly. There's a group chat. If you have a song ever, bro, you send it in that chat. And we just show each other love. You know what I mean? It's great. Before before we go on, I just want to shout out um, my manager, Evan Davidoff. Shout out, bro. And shout out Saucy Kai, bro. Fucking Saucy, bro. Kyle, bro. I really, I love you, bro. I love both of y'all. My manager and this and, and CEO slash manager, that's my team. And then also shout out Tycho Burwell, who shoots all my videos, bro. It's literally the gateway fucking portal into my mind, bro. Like makes all my shit come to life in videos and pictures and shoots every cover and every video. I, I love. That's my team, bro. That's my family, bro. Shout out those three people because without them, a lot of things wouldn't be possible. Absolutely. Shout out the team. Shout out to you for bringing that artistic vision to life. Absolutely. Just like. You guys are doing such a great job. Of course, bro. Thank you, bro. Damn. So, oh, oh, what's going on? Oh, no, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> bro, I was going to say. You've been followed in the underground and been labeled as underground for years. And uh, what's your plan for sort of losing that label, you know, dropping it and just growing to become uh, your most mainstream self, I would say. Well, not your most mainstream self, but like music. <laughs> it's just like mainstream, of course. <laughs> Honestly, bro, I see it as like when I was my other name, bro, like what I used to do, I, I was more trying to cater towards a mainstream audience and trying to blow up in a sense. And like, and then I, I the last two years, year and a half, I really fell in love with the music and the art of it. And I, I my goal is honestly just to keep making it the music I love and keep putting my whole heart and soul into all of it. And I'm going to drop another album this year, actually. And I just want to, I want to really focus in on just being me and Hopefully, being me can 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 bring in a mainstream audience, but I'm really focused on just one person at a time, being able to connect with these people through music, the way that music connected to me growing up and still connects to me. So, like, honestly, I just want to pay attention to every single detail of my art, and the people that are meant to find it will find it, and hopefully that brings me to a huge position. And I, I just love music, bro. So it's not really mainstream being a priority, but I, I would love to be huge, bro. I want to play fucking thousands of people, but I want to be in a room with thousands of people that connect to me, bro. So we like, we, we, gonna, we gonna get a room full of 500 before we get 50,000, you know what I mean? Of course, yeah. And uh, just to be able to push your message on such a larger scale would be incredible for you. Exactly, bro. I just, I just love to connect through music. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Connect to myself, connect to people, you know what I mean? Yeah, connect with that audience, you know? The people that are like-minded almost and just like speak exactly mm -hmm. so this kind of goes in hand with this next question um you know you have so many unreleased um or like i guess vaulted songs right so uh you <laughs> also got that album as well that's like sort of the unofficial debut you know don't lose yourself and um you've gotten so many collabs too with uh you know i mentioned earlier autumn and uh you know, do you plan to make more music with these artists or do you like you just feeling your own thing, right? Uh, honestly, when I got the Autumn collab was a while ago, I, I saw Autumn when he had like 8, 10, 12K or something. And I, I called I thought the feature and like I bought it, bro. So it wasn't like, you know, what I mean, Autumn's, Autumn's hard for sure. Yeah. And all these other people I collab with, they're hard. There's going to be some collabs on my coming album, upcoming album, but it's like I'm really trying to just do like my last album has zero features. I'm trying to do as much as I can um bring my vision my personal vision to life by myself you know with with, with zion cat shout out zion cat bro that's my producer he's, he produced my entire last album <clears throat> he'll produce like 70 percent of my next album he's fucking fantastic <clears throat> it's amazing bro like literally a genius he produces all my shit 
we produce together, he's just he's a genius. Yeah, absolutely. Shout out Zion. Of course, of course. Of course. Yeah. So to mention uh, the message we were talking about earlier, um, do you have a message that you're consistently pushing throughout your music and like something you stand for almost? Um, the first thing I would say is not necessarily like, well, like this, this would be my thing that I would say if someone was like, what's one thing you tell someone if like tell your younger self or tell anybody is that like <clears throat> the meaning of life is passion. In my opinion, I'm not God or nothing, bro. Nothing yeah. like that. But I, <laughs> I just find for me that the meaning of life is passion. When you can find your passion and live within it, that's, that's your purpose. Mm -hmm. Um, and my message is, is not a direct message. It's more about speaking on my own mental health and, and my I, I just I'm in love with taking trips within my mind and not necessarily just in any way like like my leg like, and breaking point that I will never be made again that I made it and it was my story and I'm gonna tell other stories like my next album is a is I'm gonna say the, the title now because fuck it I'll just say it here it's called the man with no face um it's it's gonna be a trip bro it's gonna be a it has a whole narrative to it a whole story and it's gonna be a trip but every album i just every song i want everything to have a meaning to it and just things you can let la layers layers that you can just look through and interpret in your own way feel me yeah of course you know just like everyone who sees it is gonna have this like different view on it this different outlook on it and like you know someone who listens to it won't have the same you know opinion on it or like exactly. what it means as you know the next person and that's just an incredible um thing to have i've said incredible like 43 times throughout this episode so it's just i'm just gonna say an amazing or like a really good you know just something that sort of sets you apart right especially album wise yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. so a little bit of a more generic one but it also perfectly transitions <laughs> we've had a lot of those questions man um what is your biggest goal for this year 2022 Bro, honestly, the, like I said, the biggest goal, bro, is to one at a, one person at a time, just connect to people and feel, make them feel this music the way I feel the music. And um, and I want to drop this next album, and I want it to be better than the last album. To be honest, bro, it has to be better. Not necessarily better. I want it to be better, better put together. I want it to have the message to come across clear, but also less clear in a certain way. I want it to be a fucking trip, a beautifully produced album. We got. A, a, at least eight, ten songs on there that I, I only, I'm, I already have the amount of songs playing in my head. There's only like two songs done, um, produced by fucking Zion, and we got a song on there produced by Scuba, the fucking guy, hey, bro. Yeah. Shout out, shout out, Scuba. Love Scuba. And um, of course, bro. And I, I just want to keep making music. I want to drop this album, and I guess in number sense, it would be really cool to see the IG hit like 10k. Maybe hit like a hundred thousand monthly listeners on Spotify because we we at eighteen k right now. Mm -hmm. Hopefully that's possible, bro. I'd love to see that. And I, I, I'm literally before you call me, I was fucking writing this shit. Right, I'm working on the album right now, fucking writing. Yeah. So like, we got, and I, I'm, it's not even halfway. It's not even ten percent done. But let's call it, let's call it the album is going to drop on July 29th, my birthday when I turn twenty. July 29th at midnight. Wow, that's insane wow already writing you never stop working i guess it's just that grind right you're Man, driven you're driven i mean it's not really work if it's the passion though passion is purpose exactly 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 mm -hmm. all right so coming down to our last question of the day here are you ready i'm i'm extremely ready you're ready okay we're ending it on a little bit more of a more positive note here what is a funny story or experience you have for our listeners today? <laughs> I want to tell a good one. Hello, recent one. Um, I was I was delivering pizza four months ago. I don't have to do it right now, thank God, because music's making some money, bro. Oh, let's go <laughs> a, a blessing um i was delivering pizza for this restaurant in my city and i i would take the, the the hot bag and it would be on the seat and one day the hot bag was falling off the seat and i just got a brand new nissan ultima 2022 bro this is this year bro and oh, yeah. 
the hot bags falling off the seat and I'm like, oh my God, it's falling. Let me grab the hot bag. And then I ran a stop sign and a Jeep fucking Wrangler bones me from the side. I got hit from the side and I'll go into a fucking pole and all the air bags went off. Car got totaled. I hop out of the car, vomit all over the road. You like you were all good? Like, like no, not a scratch yeah, on yeah. you? I mean, my head has felt kind of weird since, but nah, not a scratch. We good. Um, I had to get put in a neck brace, go to the hospital, x-rays, all that shit. Just, but, but crazy part is I called a restaurant. I'm like, oh, that's how my happened. Like, okay, okay. Before the ambulance gets there, the restaurant comes and picks up the delivery to finish the delivery. <laughs> nah. Uh, yeah, it's that. I'm saying, bro. That happened. Bro, they're faster than 911, bro. <laughs> Fuck capitalism. <laughs> that is insane, bro. That's, ca that's capitalism at its finest. Exactly, bro. Prioritizing the fucking company before your actual life. <laughs> love it. We love it. For sure. Yeah, there you go, bro. <laughs> Do you have any other questions? Um, yeah, actually, I have one more. I almost left this I... out as well. So let's share your favorite songs from the album, then I'll share mine. Okay, okay. I got you. I would honestly say right now, my top five would be Free Stomp, the intro, Wasted Potential, Theater 14 Interlude, Please Just Follow Your Heart, Bugs, Interchangeable with Duality and Melissa's. For sure. Please just follow your heart because my, my grandma's on it and that's just one of, I, that uh, holds a special place in my heart. But yeah, okay. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. All right. I got you with mine. So I'll do top three here. So number one, I have bugs. Number two, I have duality. And then number three, I have I did mushrooms just because like. That's that, that's a head there. Exactly. Hit list. That shit's, that shit's grimy. I love that song. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Bro, this is probably my favorite interview I've done ever. Yeah, I mean, maybe the first time around was better, but we're just gonna act. Bro, like you know, I, we 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 just gotta say this, bro. We did a fucking interview like thirty minutes longer than this, and it fucking didn't get recorded, which I'm is a, annoying. I don't know, but hey, we're working with what we have here. Like, at least we're getting it done, right? <laughs> Are you recording this? <laughs> I sure hope so. Okay. <laughs> Nah, but yeah, bro. Um, we got we got like five minutes. You wanna ask anything like inspirations or any of that? I'm just trying to think of regular interview questions. Nah, I think we can wrap it up for sure. Okay, bet, bro. Yeah, I just want to say like thank you so much for coming on. It's been absolutely incredible to do this. Um, you know, I'm really like it's my bad about the first time, but you know, I'm the, I'm the first. I'm the first two time, uh, two time music music interview person. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bro, we're, not a good we're, thing, saying, but... <laughs> we're, we're saying we're going to do the check-in once a year. We already did the check-in in 10 minutes, bro. In 10 minutes? The 10-minute check-in? <laughs> I mean, I don't think a lot has changed, but maybe. No, no, no. Not at all. Nothing, Actually, not a I'm, 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 a little, I'm a little hungrier. Oh, a little bit hungrier, yeah. So, I think same, honestly, same. Nah, but yeah, facts, we'll bro. definitely run it a year from now. You'll Wait. be able to meet Max and everything, too. Sucks what you want to have for dinner? What am I going to have for dinner? Um, I think I have a burger waiting downstairs. I feel that. I'm about to, I'm about to push chef some fucking shit up. I'm about to make like a, a pasta or some shit. Ooh. Figure it out. Maybe some lo mein. Oh yeah. Speaking of lo mein. <laughs> Bye, <man. laughs> Refer I'm reference. Fun. I'm reference. <laughs> Bro, before we go, the man with no face album dropping July 29th. July 29th. Midnight. Remember the date. Also, make sure to say happy birthday when it drops. Don't be fake. <laughs> what a real one. All, All right. right, my boy. I no love worries. being on here. And we'll be back in a year. We will see. Let's do a transition for next year. All right, so. So, fuck. We got to make a transition that goes into next year. How do we do that? All right, I'll think of something right now. Um, I can do it. Okay. Uh, give me a sec. I'm going to be... Okay. I might just freestyle it right now.
freestyle that shit. So, we know you're doing good now, but let's talk to your future self a year from now. Yeah, let's talk to that guy. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> we'll use that. We'll use that. We'll use that. Well, that ass user, bro. All right. Um. Yeah. Hopefully the next hour is better than this one, bro. I fucking loved being here. It was great having you. It was great you having me. <laughs> it's great. Yeah, it was great for you to be here. It's great that we could have you on this podcast, man. Of course. I'm sorry I couldn't meet your co-host, but next time. Yeah, well, it's... Uh, next next year, here. Let's, here. watch how big your shake going to be a year from here. It's the goal, of course. I can't wait to see. Shout out Music News. And, uh, hey, man. That's all I can say. All right, I'm going to run this outro. Are you ready? Yeah, of course, bro. Thank you guys so much for listening to today's episode. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to slap a like on YouTube. Subscribe on YouTube. Rate five stars on Spotify. Follow us on Spotify. You can find us on Instagram at Music Muse Podcast. TikTok at Music Muse Podcast. Perry, please plug your socials. Damn, bro. You ran that bitch like a piano. Um, My shit is at Perry Mason. P-E-R-R-Y. M A Y S U N on all platforms. Um, if you love music, I'm sure you'll love my shit. And if you don't, that's cool too. Thank you for having me, bro. I fucking love being here. Of course. And me. Have a good day. Good night. Yeah. Enjoy, enjoy your burger. Thank you so much. Enjoy. Enjoy. Enjoy your dinner. Chef up something nice. All right. Of course, bro. <laughs> all, all right, right bro. Guys. Peace, guys. Peace. All right.